This is a part 2 of Roundhouse episode 4.5, so if you have not watched part 1, the link will be in the description. Anyways, I'm not gonna go over who I'm ranting on, as you will pretty much already know. At the same time, I would like to announce that we just reached 321 subscribers, so thank you guys for that. With all bullshit aside, let's begin. Well, his videos rock in my opinion. Compared to your reactions and screen recorded commentaries, I actually agree that his content rocks compared to your shitty content, but I still despise Emoji Marbles because of his 219th commentary which I formerly said was one of my favorites, until I realized that it was outright bad towards the end because he said that he supports criminals, making the video average at best with several good points against the user. Dude, that person is not a troll. Ah yes, the classic the person is not a troll card. How original? I checked their overall content before making this video, and they clearly make use of videos against users, where most people they think they are trolling them, but in actuality, they are intentionally pissing users off in order to make them respond to them, which makes them gain more clout in a horrible way. There is way more that I would go into depth on this video, but for time's sake, let's just get on with it. That person's not a troll, you idiot. I'm not going to go over this point of the video, because I already addressed it, but this point is so bullshit because the person is clearly a troll. I apologize for using the R and F slurs respectively, as I regularly do not use them, but this person is making bullshit points, and since they defend a black person who says the N word with the hard R, I feel like I have every right to say them, but if you don't accept my actual apology, then I can at least understand that. Anyways, let's keep draining the brain to hurt even further. Sees a dude saying that nobody gives a shit about giving a sh shit about him from inside because what's going on what's going on in his life? That's just freaking heartless, dude. First off, bitch, it was a really edgy joke, and it was intended to make people who easily get offended at everything be triggered, like your bitch ass. Second off, I'm not apologizing for that joke because I have two reasons why. First off. Suicide or feeling suicidal in my own opinion is honestly the coward's way out as it proves you are a pathetic loser. Second off, Emoji Marbles feels suicidal because of his life, which is a bullshit reason as you should be grateful for what you have, but the other reason is due to the fact that people are giving him criticism, which he is translating into hate. So yeah, I have every fucking right to use that filthy Frank clip and you can stay fucking mad all you want. No he doesn't. I had to re-watch the whole part of the 219th commentary where he talks about supporting criminals. And yes, he indeed support criminals, unless it's a serial killer, and says that all criminals can be forgiven. So yes, as long as he supports criminals, he also supports and forgives criminals who commit the act of pedophilia, sexual assault, assault, theft, battery, abuse of all forms, and many more that I cannot list for the sake of time which I'm not going to list. To answer your question, as long as he is a criminal supporter, he blindly supports and forgives people who commit pedophilia, which is very fucked up in my own opinion. Alternatively, he also supports Jay Kaiser, which he is actually way more horrible both as a person and in terms of content compared to Emoji Marbles. You, you just giving a giving our example, dude. I literally gave out more examples of what he would blindly support, but you ain't ready for that talk. You are a fucking piece of fucking shit, Emoji No, he's not, dude. For someone who supports criminals, yeah, he kind of is. 
Any sane person would not support anyone who is in defense of criminals as they do not belong to be welcomed back in heart-filled arms here in society, but your brain did ass would be in defense of a racist and a criminal supporter. Hint hint. Squealy and emoji marbles. Thank god the commentary is over. So far, I think it sucked horribly, because she kept reiterating useless points, and at most gives at least a sentence why, which most of the times I literally explained why either in that video, or in this video. Anyways, Rand House episode 9 will be on hold, as I'm going to do a history video on Adult Swim for Midora Entertainment's associate producer contest, because I want to expand further beyond my own channel. Anyways, I'm out.